This is the JTV News Update. I am Sean Rose. Officers of the RVIPF arrested two male residents of the territory Wednesday night on suspicion of offenses of a serious sexual nature against a minor. Following a report to the police, investigating officers visited Anagada and detained the two offenders. Following investigations, the two men, a 30-year-old Anagada resident and a 40-year-old Tortola resident, were charged with offenses of rape and possession of child pornography. And because of the seriousness of the allegations, they both appeared at magistrate's court on Thursday morning. They were remanded in custody until May 3rd. Given the sensitive nature of the investigation, police say details of the alleged offenders and the victim are being withheld at present. Any person with any information regarding the matter is asked to contact the Rotong Police Station on the non-emergency 311 number, the Criminal Investigation Department or Family and Juvenile Unit on 494-3822, or the Independent and Completely Anonymous Crime Stoppers Tips Line on 1-800-744-8477. All calls will be treated in the strictest confidence. The public can expect to get a first-hand look at the improvements made at the BVI Fishing Complex soon, according to Natural Resources and Labor Minister with Responsibility for Agriculture and Fisheries, Dr. Kedrick Pickering. Speaking during the government's second leg of the On the Road program held at the Cane Garden Bay Community Center on March 26, Dr. Pickering says local fishermen are now able to take their total catch to the BVI Fishing Complex. We've been able to improve the fishing complex. We've improved the fishing complex in a number of ways. Number one, we've invested significant money in, in the infrastructure so that the fishing complex is now able to store fish, vacuum pack it, flash freeze it, and we now have storage capacity for any amount of fish that the fishermen can bring in. And any of you who want fresh fish, once fish is available, should be able to go to the fishing complex and get that fish because we now have the facilities to do just that. Director of Tourism Sharon Flax Mars has expressed gratitude to American Eagle for the years of service to the BVI on the eve of its departure from the BVI effective March 31st. American Eagle has kept the BVI alive. We have, have had a long history with them working with us. Uh, we are sad to see them uh, go, but we do acknowledge what they've done for us as a destination. Flaxmas says the code sharing agreements between American Airlines and both KPA and Seaborne Airlines will allow visitors to continue having hassle free access to the BVI. They do have code share arrangements already in place with um, American Airlines and some of the other carriers. In fact, if someone to go, uh, were to go online now and um, go to the American Airlines uh, site, you would be able to book a through flight direct into Tortola or Virgin Water with Seaborne. <laughs> 